low vibe habits. We all have them in some shape or form, and while deep down inside, we know that they aren't contributing to the dreams we want to fulfill, the world we live in makes it easier to indulge than it is to refrain. But if we indulge too often, we might find ourselves looking back at our decisions with regret. With millions of people in the world and aspirations and goals that are deeply unique to us, there is only one person who truly cares about your dreams enough to make them happen. And that person is you. I am kind of making this video for myself because even though I have been working hard on bettering myself, I know that I have some low vibe habits that I need to kick and the habits that I'm going to talk about in this video 100% come from personal experience and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. The first few habits have to do with excessive screen time. While technology can help stimulate creativity, too much of it can cause fatigue and decrease focus, which can lead to a decline in creativity. The irony of me making this for you to watch on a screen is thick, <laughs> and I realize that. Low vibe habits like doom scrolling, binge watching television series, and working long hours on your computer gotta be addressed. I'm not saying that you and I should go 100% screenless, but we should try to be more aware of how much screen time we're really putting in. If you are anything like me or any other person living in this modern world and you struggle with screen time, a good place to start is with the American Psychological Association's recommendation, which is that adults should minimize their screen time to two hours a day outside of work. I think it's hilarious that they specify outside of work. It's such an American thing to say, because it's like, yeah, limit your screen time for your mental health. But if you are working, you best be on that screen because you got to get work done. <laughs> but, you know, it's a good place to start just to be aware of your screen time and check that you are not on your personal phone more than two hours a day. I know that could be very limiting, especially if your screen time is currently high, but just steadily working down to that average rather than going cold turkey probably is the best approach. For me, I find that my screen time is the lowest when I am occupied by hobbies that I'm enjoying or I'm socializing with people. So hobbies like painting or reading or going on a walk and listening to an audiobook helps me keep my screen time a little bit lower. But with that being said, it's not perfect and I'm getting there. I am a strong believer that our mind, our body, and our soul all work together to make sure that we are operating at our fullest potential. And if you're mistreating one of those, then you are mistreating all of them. It's like a domino effect. Some low vibe health habits that I am trying to kick are inconsistent sleep, eating fast food too often, not drinking enough water, and working out either not enough or too much. When it comes to the low vibe habits that have to do with my overall health, I think the one that I struggle with the most is sleep. But for all of these habits, I'm really trying to just listen to my body more. Because as I've gotten older, I can tell that these habits have a bad impact on me, whether it be sleeping and irritability, or fast food and feeling sluggish, or working out too much and getting burnt out to the point where I don't want to work out at all for like weeks at a time. So I'm really just trying to find a balance and listening to my body. It turns out that all of these bad habits can actually cause a hormonal imbalance in anyone and hormonal imbalances cause weight changes, hair loss, stress, depression, mood swings, and so much more. And I don't know about you, but if I'm feeling sad and I got a headache, 
I'm not gonna do anything. I don't wanna create anything. I just wanna sit there because I feel gross. So I've been really trying to just listen to my body. And I know most of my viewership is is male, like very dominantly male, but like for any of the girls that are watching right now, something that I've kind of tried to tune in with more is my cycle. Because as a woman, every week is different. And sometimes my body just is like, bruh or girl, like don't, don't work out. <laughs> so I really have to make sure that I'm listening to myself so I don't push myself too hard to the point where I can't sustain a healthy, balanced lifestyle. And I'm starting to really learn that. Before we move on to the next set of low vibe habits, I would like to remind you to give this video a thumbs up if you think it deserves one. And if you are a creative soul on a personal development journey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a Voyager today. And for those of you who are watching who are already Voyagers, sup, glad to see you. I hope you're enjoying the video. The last set of low vibe habits that I am going to mention in this video have to do with habits of the mind. As I already said, I think that the mind, the body, and the soul all work together. And I think that if you, if you, if you are having crappy thoughts, then your life kind of reflects that because whatever you are thinking really impacts your perspective of the world. Low vibe habits of the mind that I would like to address that you should address too if you are currently doing them are negative self-talk, comparison, and obsessing over vanity metrics. That last one is geared mostly towards content creators or online artists, but I think that's the one that I struggle with the most to be honest as of lately. I hate to admit it, I freaking hate it, like I hate that. Hate it, but it's like when you're growing something online and you're trying to make a business and you're trying to achieve something, it's kind of hard not to think about the analytics. I think for that, what I'm gonna do is set aside one day of the week where I actually dig deep into analytics because they are an important aspect of this and what gets measured grows. But I think what worries me about it is when I wake up and I look at my phone and if something didn't perform as well as I was hoping it would, then it impacts my day and that shouldn't be a thing, you know? And yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it kind of opened your eyes in some way. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and until next time, bye. Subscribe, subscribe.